That was weird. The camera just shut off. But as I was saying, so my space is not done. I've only been in here like one week. So cut me some slack. But um, I'm getting things together. And I am always kind of, you know, looking for ways to shizz it up a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm really excited about this wall because this is going to be my art wall, specifically my anime wall. And I have so many bomb ass anime posters coming in. I have my first one, which was a gift from my cousin of one of my favorite anime characters, Shishomaru. And so I am so excited to like build out this anime wall. It's gonna be so cute when y'all see it. Okay, it's gonna be so cute. Yeah, so this is just my office. It's something really light. Um, it's just enough for me. However, in hindsight, I maybe think I should have got a bigger desk. I didn't realize how big my iMac was, so yeah. So I kind of just put it to the side when I'm doing my, you know, nine to five work. And I work off of that. And then when um, I want to switch back over, I just move that out of the way and I have more space for my iMac. So that's what that is looking like so far. You know, I got stuff to do. It'll be really nice. Um, I have a meeting in five minutes. That's what you guys heard. I got this wall art board. I don't even know what they're called where I can create myself little messages. And that's super cute and it like really really motivates me so this is my message for today it says go ahead and be great today sis period period poo so that's what we working with today and usually i really like you know the scene i usually have the blinds up um and i just like looking out and it's a cityscape view so it's actually really nice but right now i'm just gonna have that closed so then hey how you doing, sir? Josuke? Jotaro. Hey! How you doing, Jotaro? All right, so that's what you are today. But more importantly... Dun, 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 dun! It's a Thrive Market order. them at the sense like rice cakes I use them I top them with a lot of things so I picked up two packs of that I usually pick up some household items from Thrive I have this laundry detergent um, from Thrive markets which I usually use I really enjoy it and then I have have some dishwasher liquid detergent for the rinse cycle some dishwasher uh, detergent pods I picked up some Thrive market honey Everything here is things that I have already used and I'm just kind of like replenishing especially since you know with the move and not really trying to be in the grocery stores so here is just some apple cider vinegar good old faithful some avocado oil spray I love this I always keep this in the house and this is really nice this is actually carrying my cold or refrigerated items and it comes really well insulated and this is just some desserts that i picked up these are some dark chocolate coconut bars um super clean ingredients just coconut cassava dark chocolate and vanilla so i guess this is what was actually keeping the food freezable and it says it's a drainable gel plus plant food that's really thoughtful of thrive market and it's just like one of the reasons why i really like them
end today's vlog here. Um, I just got out the shower, so fresh and so clean, clean. Full skincare routine, fresh Angelina on, and I'm gonna eat because <laughs> I'm hungry. This is my finished food. Here is my curry. Um, you can always eat it with rice, but I'm eating it with noodles today. And a little bit of my kimchi cabbage. So, simple. If anybody watched Hospital Playlist on Netflix, um, it's a Korean drama and it's pretty, it's not so new, but it's bomb. So I'm gonna watch this and eat my food and it's gonna be a good old night. So, see you guys in the next day. Hi guys, good morning. So it's the next day. Uh, Jojo and I went out for a walk this morning and now I am about to sign on and do some work. However, I did get the second part to my Thrive order, my Thrive Market order. So I decided that I would show you guys real quick what that looks like. So let's look at it. So this is the contents of my meat and seafood box. Um, I decided that it was much more cost effective and actually fits my needs better to order my meats and seafood for the month um, through Thrive Market. So Alright guys, so here are the food items that came in my meat and seafood box. And I believe I ordered the build your own meat and seafood box. Um, the price is not on here, but I believe I recall it being somewhere around like 100 either $109 or $119, I can't exactly remember. And just for reference, it was ordered on the 18th and arrived on the 21st. So I did order some um, organic chicken drums from uh, Mary's Free Range Farm, air chilled. I ordered two servings of that. So two servings of the organic chicken drums is three separate packs. Use that for making uh, chicken stew for all my fellow Africans out there. <laughs> Over here I have some organic large wild caught shrimp peeled and divined and this is what one serving looks like. Over here I ordered one serving of wild caught sockeye salmon which is a total of one, two, three, four, five, five different serving portions pre um, and individually wrapped and it looks so good quality wise and finally I ordered some organic ground chicken from Mary's free range farm as well also air chilled I know that there is another option where you can add uh, where you can build a larger box I believe and then there were like options for you to customize your order you could have included um, some type of beef some type of pork you could have included sausage, breakfast sausage, you could have included lobster, you could have included scallops. There were so many different ways to customize your order, but this fits me and the way that I eat, and it should last me about a month, so. Alright guys, this is my first meal of the day. I was actually really craving um, some type of bibimbap, so I made a bibimbap with um, rice, tofu, some kimchi cabbage, um, crab, mushroom, green beans, um, some kimchi cucumber, an egg, and some green pepper. So I made everything here from scratch, and I must say, I'm pretty proud of myself. I will need to probably get a dosa bowl soon enough because I really enjoy making Korean and Japanese food um, at home. It's like my jam, so... I'm gonna eat this and get back to work so yeah okay hi happy Friday it is Friday <laughs> the week is going by um, I actually have two more items that got delivered that I'm like super excited to show you guys about so I got this chair from overstock but I'm now selling it on Facebook marketplace because uh, it's just not what I thought it would be one it's a lot smaller um, than what I need and two it just doesn't fit my current aesthetic so I'm now selling it on Facebook marketplace so that was one thing that came in that I was excited about but now I'm not so also I just like picked up items from Bath and Body Works this is my first time shopping since pre quarantine so like I'm super excited and there was like a sale going on and 
this is a great housewarming gift to me because this is my favorite shop to shop at when it comes to buying things to make my home smell good. So I'm gonna do a haul and look out for that video. Are you looking your butt? Nasty. Don't be, ooh, nasty. You done? Who's at the door? Sir? Hello? Who was that? Hello? It's a JoJo in the... Oh. This is what I wanted to show y'all. I haven't unpacked it yet, but through the power of editing, it's going to be unboxed in three. That was an ugly three. Three? Which three? Three? Let's do that one. <laughs> three. Two. One. So, I got this item here from Sprout and it is called the booty sprout or it's called sprout i'm not you are such a husky no 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 look at my ears they're floppy flop 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 so i'm really excited about this because i don't know the next time i will be back in the gym and so i just really wanted to get pieces in my home gym that would be useful and vital and some girl I knew was using it and so I was like hmm, let me check that out so basically it's like a hip thrusting setup and it utilizes resistance bands instead of barbell and barbell plates so I was like I can definitely get into that because I, I don't have the space I don't have the space for a barbell nor do I have the space for barbell ah, no nor do I have the space for barbell plates so it's actually like a hip thrusting pad that uses the resistance bands to do hip thrust and it goes up to 400 pounds of resistance isn't that insane it comes with three three resistance weights already and the kind of like support pad and I bought an additional resistance band at 75 pounds so I'm not entirely sure but I'll have it like here somewhere or down below what the resistance currently is, like what it comes with. And not only just hip thrust, but you can do like curls with it. You can do goblet squats with it. You can do individual leg. Uh, you can do single leg Romanian deadlifts. You can do like so much hamstring curls with it. So I think it's gonna be a really functional piece to have in the, fitness arsenal and I'm excited to work out with it like I have a glute day today so I'm excited to kind of utilize that so yeah I'll let you guys know Ooh. all right this is kind of intense. I'm here for it though. I'm here for it. Cause like, it's really hard trying to get the same feel of a glue burn without a barbell and plates, but this is nice. All right guys, good morning. It's Sunday. It's around 10.30. I've been up since like 6.30 AM. <laughs> I'm heading to go visit my mother and my sister and then um, go get a pedicure because I got a spot back home that I just can't give up so heading over there gonna spend some time with the family and do all that fun stuff for a couple of hours so that's where we're at now
from my mom's and running errands and I wanted to show you what I picked up from my grocery haul and my um, African market West Indian market haul so let's start with just the American grocery haul I picked up some Annie's organic pancake and waffle mix I've never tried this but I've become like a real like real lover of Annie's cereal so I'm interested in trying this um, picked up a new carton of vanilla well actually let me guys tell you something let me tell you guys something I've never actually tried the box version I usually get the refrigerated version but like I heard from my girlfriend that this one is much better and also I've never actually like drank the vanilla flavor I usually just get unsweetened original so if you've ever tried this let me know um, then I picked up another box of couscous um, I love couscous and actually I made a mistake because I actually got two boxes of couscous now so this is the uh, Wegmans couscous then I picked up um, Siete Tortillas, love this brand. This is the cassava flavor. Um, my fruit for the week is strawberries and I have cherries in the fridge. I like to have one fruit for the week. Uh, my vegetables, I picked up some Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are bay. Biscoff spread, oh my God. You guys, if you haven't tried this, then you are like missing out. I love putting it on my pancakes. I love putting it in my oatmeal, on my rice cakes, bomb.com. Uh, two vegan cheeses. I got the Just Like Mozzarella Shreds. Um, Maureen, my sister had this and she let me try it and it was really good. So I like to put that on my pizza. Then I got the Chow Vegan Slices. Um, the original, never had this before, but I figured it'd be nice on my sandwiches. Then I picked up some more of the Quest protein chips. I've only ever tried the barbecue chip flavor, and I actually really liked it. So these are some new flavors to try. Um, I like to have it with my sandwiches or my wraps. Picked up a creamer for my coffee. A plant-based butter. Uh, I've never tried this before, but sometimes I do like to cook with a little bit of butter. And I ran out of the butter coconut oil, so interested in trying that out and so that this is like my American food haul then we move over to the African and West Indy haul I got some tilapia huge but huge freaking huge pieces of tilapia um, and I like to eat this with the couscous or a cheque and this green pepper and salad it's so good um, so I'm gonna make some of that sooner or later so I'm gonna put that in the freezer got my go-to peppers baby this is what I love to cook with when I'm making my traditional food so boom I wonder if this is like scotch bonnet pepper I'm actually not sure but it looks similar to what um, I see my Jamaican friends cooking with and when I was in Jamaica um, put Picked up some panke, my ganyans, you know what is up, okay? I don't eat it all the time. I eat it like, you know, once every two weeks on a Sunday, but I like to have it. My mom makes sure I always have it. Just some OG Jamaican curry powder. That's life. I mix it with all my cooking. Ovaltine. Ah, this takes me back, but this is like my favorite kind of like chocolate milk powder. I don't even know what it, how to fully describe it, but Ovaltine and Milo or Milo are like my favorite, but I actually like Ovaltine a little bit more. So if you've ever drunk Ovaltine, let me know. Cream of rice, a breakfast dish or a post-workout dish is usually my go-to. Um, another box of couscous to make the acheque with the tilapia that I was telling y'all about. But this one, I'm not even sure the difference between this one and the like American style couscous so I'm actually not sure so we'll see and just like two snacks that I had no business picking up but I couldn't resist whenever I'm in the African market um, the spicy plantain chips oh my god love and then the traditional plantain chips um, I've never actually had this one but one of the uncles in the store was like oh you need to try this one my girl so I'll try it and that is the haul so I'm just gonna pack everything up I have some chicken wings that I took out from my Thrive Market order that I am going to just season with some jerk seasoning and then I'll put it in the air fryer for tomorrow and I'm just going to unpack everything so yeah.
all right guys that is going to be it for my vlog for the week i hope you enjoyed it um thanks for spending the week with me we are just going to get ourselves ready for a work day tomorrow um do some last minute cleaning and um so we're gonna end it here so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye you that ne bye you that oi bye you that hey man jojo will not let you catch him on the camera for free boy okay jojo said run him his coins all right we're leaving jojo say bye 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 <laughs> bye guys